This is Matthew 16 and verse 26. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Verse 27. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to called Loyim, by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Rachakotosukatam, that will honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth for faith and sincerity, and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom, I'm Akwaf and Akim out there listening and learning. Lord, willingly, this is an edifying lesson. Shalom, I'm to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth to you. I say Shalom, I'm. This is the brother Yahweh Sap out of the GMS Cleveland Church. A fellow servant coming at you with another lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And basically, um, you know, came across this weird article. I know brothers went into it, so I'm not going to go into it like that. But, you know, it just shows you, it's a testament to how you could buy a nigga cheap. So I'm not even going to show this like this because I've been reading it. It's weird. You know, it talks about um, how, you know, they got pentagrams on it and they say, Bible verses and it got supposed to be made with a certain amount of ink and one drop of blood. And you got, I mean, you know, and I can believe that shit to a certain extent because, you know, they're literally doing witchcraft in our faith. So may the most high, you know what I mean? Yahweh y'all shot. I pray that you literally speed this thing up. And I know, you know, but we are signing and crying out here. This, I mean, talked about it's gonna be so bad down here the Lord gonna have to see him you know <laughs> it's just crazy anyhow that's why the scripture talk about not being selfish you know uh, with the Hebrews with the Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 let your conversation be without covetousness Strong's G, H66, Afilar Guras, Afilar Guras. So it said, be without covetousness, so it said, and not loving money. So covetous would be you love money. And a lot of men of our nation are willing to, <laughs> you know, they love, you know, they, they, they in love with money. You know. um, and anything that you put over the love of the most high,
Sitting on 50, 50 racks and shit like that. Like the Esau is try and they know what they're doing. They want people to turn on each other. It's lay not yourself treasures in heaven. I mean Slakia. Lay not up for yourself treasures on earth. Because like I said, at the end of the day, this shit is carnal. You know what I mean? It's this um account in the scriptures about the rich man that um basically Tore down his barn and, and built bigger because he had had a a a a, 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 a yieldful um, harvest, and, you know what I mean. So he decided to build everything up bigger and uh, get buy more land. He said, so if he do it this way, you know, he'll be able to sit back, sit back and um, you know enjoy, you know, without having to really do no more work. <laughs> and literally, the Most High told him, like you, <laughs> you know, you fool, <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> like. Today is the night that I require your soul. You never know. You know, you had a lot of men with a lot of money that enjoyed the um, pleasures of this kingdom. But, you know what I mean, actually, like, was taken out without, <laughs> I mean, nobody knows how they, I mean, you got, it's deep. You know what I mean? Most high is a terrible power, you know what I mean? And it tells you that in the scriptures, you know what I mean? Yeah, because the thing is, the scariest part about the truth is, when you actually, that was the scariest thing to me. You know, we always saw the devil, so-called devil, just was so powerful that he was a match to the most high. And, you know what I mean? He was fighting for you and, you know, the most high is fighting for you. That's how they try and portray it. But when you figure out the truth is, the most high is the ultimate power. You know what I mean? So, you know, at the end of the day, it, it's so cold because you got Yahweh Shai that's on the righteous side. You know, when you look at the movie like um, Thor, you know, they making like kind of like mockery of it because it's like a, it's deep. But anyhow, then you got, you know, to see the thing is when you realize that Shantan is in order up under the Most High, that's what makes you like, because then you realize, well, wow, the Most High actually is the one that's putting you through, you know, letting the left hand get to you. Right. It's deep. Last scripture. I think it's right in here. This is the book of Luke chapter 12. I think it's verse 15. This is Luke 12 and 15. He said unto them, Take heed and beware of the of covenants for a man's life consists not in abundance of one of the things which he possesseth. That's the spirit because I just... <laughs> okay, he said unto them, Take heed and beware of the covenants for a man's life consists not in abundance of the things which he possessed. Because in this truth, and when this thing go down, you're going to have to leave with a lot of the things that you hold dear. Because it's sacrifice. Our Lord and Savior sacrificed himself to redeem us back in a, a position where we can be back in the good graces of Yahweh Hashem Yahshah. So, Salakia. So, at the end of the day, why wouldn't you have to sacrifice? I mean, a true leader, a true head will be, uh, you know, when you look at movies like Fury, you know what I mean? You know, certain movies where you're seeing that actual leadership skill. It says, you know, so if our our leader, our head, because the most high is Yahweh Bashem Yahshah, the our father, and then our big brother, you know what I mean? We're up, up under our big brother. And if he's a, being the great leader that he is, if he had to sacrifice, why wouldn't you? It says, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. Verse 17, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns, and I build greater, and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. Verse 
19, and I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease and eat, drink, and be merry. Verse 20, but Yahweh said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? Verse 21, so is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich towards Yahweh? Verse 22, and he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. Because like I was saying, the Most High has taken, been taking care of us through this whole thing. And then this is to build up, you know, the spirit of certain men to know to rely and have faith in the Most High. And that's what the thing is, the faith. You got the motherfucking demons over there it's on the left-hand side. They have a faith in their power. Cause, but the ultimate, like you know, and if you know anything about you know left hand and right hand, or you know a left left po a left positive charge and a right charge, that negative and positive create power. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's gonna be deep. At the end of the day. You got people that's gonna do a lot of things for the, especially now. Like I said, like right now, you got people without, and you got people that's got all this money. Like I say, so you don't think all kind of things going on, and they just not speaking on it. Why do you think so many rappers getting killed? Because they put they trust in this place, and they, you know, a lot of them will do a little Nas X. I I wonder what they paying this guy. I mean. And to show you how much, for real, for real, to show you, I wonder how much they panic got to show you how cheap they can buy a nigga. If you're a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshua, or be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Kohal Loyam, La Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Haracha, Kodash, Barakatham. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with faith and sincerity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is an edifying lesson. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad and the land of the other nations appearing like the other nations. But subscribe to this truth to you. I say Shalom. Um, this is Brother Yahweh Sapa, the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson. The spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. And with that, um, I'm going to end the lesson. I want to say shalom, shalom, and my wife, Labba Ball, shalom.